in this case. The Queen of Diamonds. Nice card. We'll take the Queen of Diamonds from here, and what you do is you actually make it look like you're tearing the card into pieces. But in reality, you're not. It just looks like you are. It is called an illusion. Now, if you watch the pieces go on top here, just like so, or watch carefully, is all I've got to do is take that Queen of Diamonds from here, give it a little wave, and the card actually transforms into a whole card. And that is how you restore a card. Yo, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks for you to make your little brains go a little bit crazy. And I hope you enjoyed that first effect there. That's actually from Miracle Material by Michael Kaminskis. It's on page 12, and it was simply called Restored. So today, I'm just throwing together a few tricks that I've learned from various books. So I hope you enjoy this video. I've had a bit of a crazy day editing. The computer has been really slow, um, a bit like me. So the next effect I'm gonna be performing, in fact, two effects from the Tarbell Course in Magic, not necessarily from volume five, by the way. The first one you're gonna see is actually from volume three, and then one afterwards is from volume six. I hope you enjoy these two tricks. Pretty good, I think. See you after. Handkerchief from here, yeah? Make a little well. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. You see the little well there, yeah? yeah? What you're going to do is take the peg from here, yeah. let's put it in the well, yeah. and very slowly it will melt straight through the, uh, the other side. As you can see, the handkerchief is perfectly alright, yeah? But then, you hold that corner there, and you hold that corner there, right? and you hold them two. Just lie on that That's going to be like, what are going to do? We're going to take this knife. Okay. Now, it would be, be as good poking through there, but we're going to poke it through the bottom. Okay. But what I'm going to do, this is solid through solid. Take this piece of paper from here. Okay. Solid through solid. Okay. So we're going to go through here, okay? Through here. Straight through. Straight through. Right. The knife is perfectly all right. The piece of paper in there. Ah, nice. Yeah. Brilliant. Got it. Very good. I'm a lonely guy. I just don't, you know. Okay. So for this trick, I'm on my knees. Now, we will be using a handkerchief and four coins. Now, birds of a feather like to flock together, and so do coins of a certain kind. So with that being said, each coin goes into the corner of the handkerchief, being covered up as we go. Now, each coin going into the corner of the handkerchief. Now, this coin is gonna travel, it's gonna go on a little journey. This one over here, we'll take the coin, cover it over, we'll take the coin invisibly, oh, just like that. And the coin travels to join the other one. Now this other coin down here likes to go the back room, down into the cellar, underneath, and travels across to join the other two coins. Now the last one, now this one is a bit of a Houdini. It's a bit of an escape art. It gets wrapped up in a straight jacket, but yet, it still escapes to join the other three coins. Now if we take the four coins from here, place the coins underneath the handkerchief, like so. And just cover the center of the handkerchief with the corners, just like this. I snap my fingers, wiggle my hands, and now inside the handkerchief is in fact a five pound coat. And that is birds of a feather. So there you go, two lovely tricks from the Tarbell course in magic. The first one there called pocket knife through handkerchief. Yeah, that's actually from volume three, Novelty Magic, if you're interested. Next one you saw was called Birds of a Feather. That's from volume six and also Novelty Magic. So let's get into the next trick which I've decided to show you is from Anthony Owen's book, Secrets, which is a shame about his passing, gutted about that, excellent magician. Let's check this trick out. See you after. Two cards, and of course, 
four coins, five pence pieces, which we'll place in a square for for fair for fair for fair formation. I will just hover the cards above the coins, and you'll see that the first coin will actually travel over to there. Watch the next coin travel from here to here. The third coin, you know what's going to happen, travels across, just like so. Now the fourth coin is a lot more difficult, because you know what's going to happen. It's going to join these three coins over here. Watch this coin travel, but in fact, the three coins travel over here. So that trick was called Elevated Matrix, and that's on page 106. So I hope you enjoyed that fantastic little routine there. Sorry about the loud people out there. No respect. So this next one is in fact, <gasps> Paul Harris, art of astonishment. Pieces of strange to unleash the moment. <laughs> now this one's simply called Leaf. I love this trick. It's quite a nice little novelty piece. Yeah, strange like him. <laughs> Enjoy. Now here we are in the undergrowth. I'm going to show you something that's quite nice from the book. And what it takes, we're going to take, let's see, uh, let's take oh, this leaf just here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my initials on this leaf, like this. You can see my initials just there, DR. Now, I'll put that pen away, and if we Come down here, check this out, there it is, the leaf with my initials on it. Now watch, all I'm going to do is take this leaf from here on this branch and I'm just going to give it a little rub like so and you can see, there it is, I'll give it a little pull, the spectators can even pull it and they will find that it's now connected to the plant and there are my initials to prove it's still the same leaf. <clears throat> I'm turning over a new leaf. <laughs> Leaf it out. That trick was simply called Leaf on page 53 from book three. Now for this last couple of tricks, it is from The Complete Course in Magic by Mark Wilson, which if you don't know, you should if you're into magic. Now, these two effects are fantastic. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you after. So, we'll wrap the glass in the napkin. Like this. Ready? Twist it round like that, look. No? Reminds me of last night. <laughs> Different evening. Right, okay, so. We're we'll gonna make that coin pass through the table, yeah? Watch. You ready? Watch. Would you give me a hand? Give me a hand. Watch, one, two, and ah! three, just like that. The glass passes through the table. But the coin is completely unharmed. <laughs> Alright, fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One. Three. Okay. Box. One, two. Third one in the pocket. How many in my hand? Nine. Three. <laughs> Three, look. One, two in the hand. One in the pocket. How many in my hand? One. No. Three. Well, look. We go. No, 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 nothing there, look. We go. One, two in that hand. One in the pocket. How many in my hand? <laughs> Snap. Vanish. <laughs> one. Two, three cuts. Watch carefully, yeah? Check that out. It's a ball. Ball in your hand. Goes and ends up over here. Now, if I take this first ball, place it over here. Watch. One, it ends up under the cup. We'll take it again. One, two, three cups. Second ball. One, two, ends up under the cup. Okay? One, two, three cups. Third ball. One, two, three, ends up under the cup. That's one, two, Three balls, one, two, three cups. And if I take this ball over here, take it to the hand, lo, it disappears and ends up under. Now if I take this ball, place it under this cup, take this ball, 
place it under that cup, take this ball and place it under this cup. Now, three balls, three cups. I'm going to make the centre ball appear under any one of them cups. Pick a cup. This one. Just like that, that ball disappears and ends up under the cup. If I take this ball over here, watch carefully, it goes in the hand. Did you just blow on my hair? Yeah, blow, don't spit. Now what you do is it vanishes and ends up under the cup. So that's three balls, three cups. Okay, you ready? I'm just thinking. One, three balls, three cups. I'm going to take this ball, place it in the pocket. This ball, yeah, we'll place it in the pocket. And then this ball will place inside the pocket. Now all I've got to do is snap my fingers and watch that ball appears back under the cup. Now I take this ball, place it in the pocket. Guess what happens? I snap my fingers and that ball appears under the cup. Put we'll do it, it again. Put it in that one. <laughs> Put it in there, there's always one. <laughs> and it ends up under the cup. Now, what? If I take this ball in the pocket. You want this cup? Yeah. If I snap, it actually becomes a lemon. <laughs> One of these. That one would have been a <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. The first trick there you saw of me performing was glass through table and then obviously the napkin effect where they vanish at the end and you can find them in this book. The glass through table is actually on page 314 in this fantastic book and the cup and balls effect which is an awesome one that goes down really well. I know there are others and maybe better cup and ball routines obviously but that one is simple to do, simple to learn and it's a powerful bit of magic to have in your repertoire. And that is on page 423. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and smash the like button, because I really appreciate it. And also press that bell so you get notified of all my video. Because yeah. you don't want to miss out on any of them. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.